Hi, this is Chris from One Accounting, and welcome to this short video where I'll be showing you how to prepare a dividend voucher from zero. The first thing to do is to check your user permissions to see if you have the ability to actually raise the dividend voucher. Currently, for zero users, this is only available to people with the advisor level. The way to check your permissions, if you go to settings, general settings, and then users, What you're looking out for here against your name is whether you have the advisor level. If you don't have the advisor level, then the dividend voucher is still something that your accountant will have to raise for you. Next thing to do is to check your balance sheet to see if you actually have profitable reserves that will enable you to pay a dividend. So if you do reports and then balance sheet and then go down to the bottom, what we're interested in looking at here is the equity section. And what you need to make sure is that this number here at the bottom, retained earnings, is positive. So what that should actually be is the, the sum of the current year earnings and the retained earnings. The year that I'm looking at here, there are no current year earnings, but I have retained earnings of £3,614. So this means the maximum dividend that I can pay at this point in time is that £3,614. So it's a really good idea when you're coming up to declaring a dividend that you have zero up to date, you've raised your sales invoices, input your purchase invoices and expense claims and reconcile the bank. So if you're a one accounting client, that's something that we help you with. And also if you're receiving quarterly or monthly management accounts, then we'll be checking your reserves position on a, on a very regular basis. So I've checked here, I have enough retained earnings and let's say I want to declare a dividend of £2,000. Let's go ahead now and see how we actually prepare the dividend voucher. So if you go back to the reports section, all reports, and then if you click on the advisor tab here, and at the top, we will see the one there, dividend voucher. So click on that. And then there are a few bits of information that we need to grab to prepare for that. So it's very good. What happens in Xero, uh, it actually gives you the board minutes as well. So you need uh, to approve a dividend, you need to have a board meeting and you need to record both the board meeting and the dividend voucher. So let's go ahead now and put in some information to complete that. So we are holding our board meeting today, which is the 5th of June, 2017. And let's just say we had a couple of attendees. Let's just say we had John Smith and Fred Bloggs. And we had one absentee who would be Bill Brown. Okay, and the address, I'll just put in my uh, office address, which is 2 Belford Road, Edinburgh. So this needs to be the address where you've actually held the meeting. Okay, you can click on Done, and that will just save that information down. Okay, so if we come down to the dividend details, let's say we want to declare a dividend for John, and John owns 50 shares, so we would put in 50 shares, and I want to declare a total dividend of £2,000, so John's uh, proportion of that, he owns 50% of the share capital, so he's going to get £1,000 for his dividend. Okay, let me just pop in his name here, so that's going to go to John Smith and the payment date of the dividend is today, which is the 5th of June, 2017. Let's click on Done. Okay, and then finally at the bottom, you need to put in the name of the director who's actually approving the dividend voucher. So the best practice here is that the person that signs the dividend voucher, if you have two or more directors, is not the shareholder, if you see what I mean. So we're going to say that Fred is going to sign John's dividend voucher. And if we were going to go ahead and do Fred's dividend voucher, then it would be John that signed it. So I think that's fairly clear. We'll just save a draft. And then I'll click on Done. And we'll just export that to PDF. And we can take a look, see what it looks like. Okay, so here's our dividend voucher. 
So at the top we have the board minutes here to say uh, when the meeting was held, who was present and absent at the meeting, and also the, the address. And then at the bottom here we have the details of the dividend payment that's been made to John and the date it was paid. All we need to do now is print that out, we get Fred to sign it, and what I find is best practice, if you scan in the signed dividend voucher and then attach it to the bank transaction in zero as a file, that means that if ever you need to look at a, a later date and get a copy of the dividend voucher, you would just need to uh, find the dividend payment in zero and you'll have the voucher scanned in and uploaded. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks very much for watching and that's Chris from One Accounting. And that's the end of our video on how to prepare a dividend voucher in zero. Thanks very much.